For any data set, it's really important to understand the normal range of variation. The great American statistician Edward Demings, who helped Japan after World War II uh, come back from their defeat to become a manufacturing power, really harped on the importance of understanding normal variation with a data set. So we're going to use the rule of thumb here to understand normal variation for a data set. And basically the rule of thumb says in most data sets, 95% of your data is within two standard deviations of the mean. And the 95% comes from the normal random variable. You'll see why in module three. Okay. And anything more than two standard deviations from the mean is called an outlier or unusual data point. And we'll highlight the outliers for Cisco. We'll focus on Cisco here. Okay. So basically, let's find the range of normal variation. I'll actually give you a sports example on this too. But it's really important. We'll give an, we'll give an example on sports and IQs because this is such an important topic. So for Cisco, what is normal variation? Okay. You would take the mean for Cisco right there minus 2 times the standard deviation. That's about minus 19%. Then you would take the mean plus 2 standard deviations. So normal variation for Cisco, and it's almost always a wider range than people think. Normal variation for Cisco monthly return on the stock in the 1990s was minus 19 to 30%. Okay? And so if you saw a month where Cisco went up 25%, well, that's fairly typical. Down 15%, fairly typical. Up 35%, not so typical. So another example, let's look at IQs, which we've discussed. So the mean for IQs, I guess it doesn't want to capitalize, is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. So if we go within two standard deviations of the mean, two standard deviations below that would be 100 minus 30, 70, and two standard deviations above 130. 70 to 130 should have 95% of all people's IQs. And that's exactly true, because IQs are symmetric. And then an outlier would be an IQ above 130 or below 70. Now, one other example on this, let's take football point spreads, which is a prediction by Las Vegas of how many points a team will win a football game by, a pro, pro football. The mean for a football game would be the Las Vegas prediction. That's pretty close. Now, every year, if you take the standard deviation of the scores of football games about the point spreads, you get about 14 points. So if you look at a football game like last year's Super Bowl, Carolina Panthers were favored by, let's say, five. The Las Vegas people thought they'd win by five. So if you go double that standard deviation in either direction, 28 points in either direction, what would be a normal outcome for that football game? Carolina winning by 28 more than 5, 33. They were playing Denver, who actually won. Go 28 points below that, you'd go Denver by 23. And that would be a normal range of variation. Now, Denver won, and that was considered a big upset, but they didn't win by 23, so that was not an outlier. So to conclude this video, let's show you how to highlight outliers. In other words, we have the lower limit here, and we have the upper limit here. So if we want to highlight stuff in Excel, there's a feature called conditional formatting, which we're not going to do in total detail, but we can do highlight cells greater than a value or less than a value. So we can say anything that's greater than this value, we can highlight in one color, anything that's less than this value in another color, and that highlights our outliers. So we first select our data, control shift down arrow, we go home, conditional formatting, and so we're going to go highlight cells, we're going to do greater than, and I can just point, I think, to that value there. We can make that red, so everything above 29% is red, and I can do home, conditional formatting, top, bottom rules, uh, sorry, highlight cells, less than, okay, and then I can point to this number here, should probably change the color, uh, let's say green, doesn't matter. 
So then I can see all the really good months were highlighted in red that were outliers that were unusual. And all the bad months are highlighted in green. There's one right there. Okay, now in our next video, we're going to learn different ways to get these statistics we got with the analysis tool pack. There are Excel functions that will help you get these statistics, and we're going to show you how to do that in the next video.